Hi and welcome to this tutorial. I had a client that required me to isolate these coins from the background, uh, which was frustrating at first as I wasn't too sure how it was done, but luckily I mastered a quick and easy method which I would like to show you today. Most of you have probably heard about using the pen tool. If you've spoken to graphic designers or other people who have mastered Photoshop, they'll always refer to using the pen tool when they want to select or cut out objects. I must admit, I have myself haven't mastered this and as a result get very frustrated as well. Um, today I want to show you a nice and easy method just using your marquee tool. Like you can see this is basically how the theory behind the pen tool works. But let's skip to the beginning, back to the beginning of the project and we're going to select our circular marquee tool and show you how to work with that. Now you'll get the feeling that it's obviously not a precise tool. Wherever I click on it, it all depends on where I click and drag. That determines the circle and this can be frustrating. But what I'm going to show you the trick to this tool is that if you go up here to your ruler and pull down a guide, place the guide on the edge of the top surface Grab another guide by clicking on your ruler and dragging down and try and line it up with the bottom surface of your circle and do the same with the sides. Now when you take your circular marquee tool, go to the intersecting guides in the top um, left hand corner, put your marker on there and drag down to the bottom right hand intersecting guide corner. As you'll see the circle now goes right over your um, selected circular shape. Now if I go to my layer and I click option J, which is copy layer, you'll notice that I've now selected the circle and I have a clean circular shape. Okay, I hope I didn't lose anybody at the end there. Um, I just quickly want to recap for you. Here what we did was we dragged down from the ruler our guides, placing it on the top, same with the bottom surface of the coin and also with the two sides, left and right. Then we selected our circular marquee tool from our tool palette and place on the intersecting top corner and brought it down to the intersecting bottom corner and got a perfect selection. Now this is where I thought I might have lost you. If you wanted to go around the long way around, go to layer, new, Layer via copy. Um, as you can see, it's option J on a Mac or control J on a PC. And click this, and that's how we isolated our selection from its background. Thank you for watching.